purpose of editing. Editing has many purposes, including telling the story, creating a mood or creating atmosphere, all leading to the success of a film or video. Editing concepts, introducing new information. A new shot should always present some new information to the viewer. In a motion picture, this may be visual information, a new character or a different location, but it may also be oral, a voiceover, narration or an important sound. Editing is one of the most important steps in making a film. It is essential for creating the desired mood, atmosphere and theme wanted by the director. Motivation. The new shot you cut to should provide new information, but so should the shot you are cutting away from. For example, a shot of a man looking in the air in amazement, then the scene cuts to a shot of another man flying. Why edit? To make sure everything makes sense and all the mistakes are corrected so the film or video is presentable. You need to arrange clips in order to make the film or video make sense. For example, using the 180 degree reel to help the scene make sense again. Providing smooth, seamless continuity across transitions is a very important element in an edit and also making sure the sequence makes sense throughout whilst keeping the scene interesting. The purpose of editing is to show four different aspects of a film clip that can emphasise the characters, the information the audience receives engaging them into the film in several different ways that include how much the audience should know about the narrative, characters and events at any given time. For example, in relation to genre, say horror, the camera may roll much longer and there will be most likely very low tempo sound whereas in an action film there will be a lot of quick clips of explosions and loud music playing in the background as the suspense builds. Also, another example that falls under propaganda film is football highlights. By that I mean that if Arsenal played against West Ham and Arsenal dominated the game and had a lot more possession and shots, the football highlights may show the game and make it look like it was an even match by putting even chances for both teams however really it was nowhere near an even match pace and rhythm pace of cutting is used to control the tension of the scene the more cuts per minute the faster the pace this is what 100 million buys huh It wasn't that hard to find you, Toretto. Wasn't hiding. Last week, a team of highly coordinated drivers took down an entire military convoy. You know real was my last job. Oh, I know you didn't do it. But you're gonna help me take down the team that did. And why is that, Hobbs? Been chasing this crew across 12 countries. This was taken a week ago. I need your help, Dom. I need your team. How do I smell baby oil? You keep running your pie hole, you're gonna smell an ass kicking. You got the best crew in the world standing right in front of you. Give them a reason to stay. Our target's Owen Shaw, former spec op soldier. For years, they've been running jobs in Europe, but it's the most recent job that graduated them to a whole new level. Loss of life is unthinkable. I'm offering you a chance to make your family whole again. You get as close to Letty and we'll get you Shaw. And you give us full pardons all the way around. I can't promise you that. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. Ride or die. We're not dealing with cops, with drug dealers. I've never seen this before. This code you live by makes you predictable. And now line of work predictable means vulnerable. I can reach out and break you whenever I want. This is an action film which shows the pace of the film is going to be really fast because it is action packed. Cars flying about all the time. And then next, there is a film called P.S. I Love You, which is a romantic film, so it won't be as fast and won't have as many cuts.
What if this is it, Jerry? What if this is all there is to our life? You have to have a plan. Why do I have to be the responsible grown-up who worries? Why can't I be the cute, carefree Irish guy who sings all the time? Because you can't sing without making dogs bark. <laughs> It won't last. I'm not going anywhere. Jerry Kennedy's life may be over, but he lives forever in our hearts. I think it'll be all right if I never leave my apartment till I'm old. Are you Holly Kennedy? If I am, will you sing at me? Yes. No, I'm not. I got a delivery. What is this? Hey, baby. Surprise! I have a plan. I've written you letters. Letters that will be coming to you all sorts of ways. Now you must do what I say, okay? This Christmas... You're still here, aren't you? I can feel you. He gave her the gift. I hereby free you. Jerry planned a trip to Ireland. ...of a life without him. Make sure my baby has a good time. I want you to take her fishing. <laughs> a little crazy, so just go out and celebrate tonight. Love that. Are you single? Yes. Are you gay? Yes. Okay. What do you think? I think you're hot. <gasps> Sorry, I have a syndrome. If I just be... See, I don't worry about you remembering me. Life could change doesn't mean you it. And now it's changed again, love. So Academy Award winner Hilary Swank, Gerard Butler, Lisa Kudrow, Harry Connick Jr., Gina Gershon, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and Academy Award winner Kathy Bates. I feel like Jerry's guiding me. Do you think that's silly? I wish I had someone dead telling me what to do. There's absolutely no way I'm doing this. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> P.S. I love you. Are you single? Yes. Are you gay? <laughs> no. Are you working? No. Combining shots into sequences to engage the viewer in the flesh is a really good drama I watch. I have screenshotted some of the shots out of the programme. This shot is a close-up and when watching the programme it shows that the boy is scared to go out in public because he is a zombie but the girl also in the shot is too and she's not scared at all. The HVF posters are included in this shot because the public are trying to help support the HVF which is people that have been infected by these zombies. What genre do you think this clip is? Hey guys, you ready to let the dogs out? What? Do what? <laughs> let the dogs out, you know like... Who let the dogs out? Who, who? Who brought this guy along? Yes, Alan, we are ready to let the dogs out. Hey, congrats. Thank you. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? Hello, You're not really wearing that, are you? Wearing what? The man purse. You actually gonna wear that? You guys just fuck with me. It's where I keep all my things. Get a lot of compliments on this. Plus, it's not a man purse. It's called a satchel. Indiana Jones wears one. So does Joy Behar. We're going up, guys. Yeah, that's perfect. Really? We're going up? I'm just saying, it's clearly marked, okay? Yeah, a comedy, obviously. What genre do you think this documentary is? We are all looking for somebody to love us. And for somebody to love us for who we are, not what they think we are or what they want us to be. As far as a woman and a man is concerned, I like to read about passion. What makes love, love? rather than just lust. Why does it continue to exist? Why do we still write it? And why are we still dealing with archetypes that go back a thousand years?
This is a female-powered engine of mm -hmm. commerce. We pay the bills. For, for all of fiction. Yeah. For all of popular fiction. Yeah, we're the one who keep the lights on. Thank you. We read anything and everything. If it's in print, we read it. Romance doesn't just sell in North America, it's an international phenomenon. Romance. It is important for the film, documentary or drama to make sure the audience knows the genre. Development of editing. Editing has allowed films nowadays to grow and become more interesting for audiences through aspects as camera, angles, narrative, actors and many more. Thomas Edison ran a film laboratory where the kinetographic camera and the kinetoscope were invented. He developed the 35mm film strip that came to be the industry standard and also eventually developed the projector to play it. George Mellis was a magician who had seen the films made by the Lumia brothers. He saw at once the possibilities of the novelty. More than just motion itself, he acquired a camera built a studio, wrote scripts, designed sets, and soon he discovered the exploited, the basic camera tricks as we know well today. Sadly, it never occurred to him to move the camera for close-ups or long shots, and so his work was soon overlooked. The commercial growth of the industry forced him out of business in 1913, and he died in poverty. Elements of his life are depicted in the recent film Hugo. Thomas Edison worked with Lumia Brothers and produced short films that weren't one long static lockdown shot. Motion in the shot was all that necessary to amuse an audience, so the first film simply showed activity, such as traffic moving on a city road. This can be seen in the film Sorti D. U. Scene in 1895 by the Lumia Brothers. In 1895, the Lumia Brothers invented cinematograph which was a three-in-one device that recorded captured and projected motion picture. The first film cameras were a roll of film moved frames mechanically moved past a shutter and lens system. They were invented in France by Lumia's brothers and in America by Thomas Edison at about the same time in history. This is an example of a silent film.
means that the film is created by shot by shot. In the camera, you add the next shot in the story by filming it next. The idea of recording to something other than film videotape was invented in 1951 by the Ampex research team. The first video editing machines came into existence a few years later in 1956. Analog editing. Analog editing was used before editing on a computer. The film negative, when completed, was cut down and pasted into an order. It then went through a machine such as a Moviola or a KEM. In the early days of movie production, the idea of cutting up film and taping it back together to edit it was developed for many years. This process was done by hand with just a pair of scissors and a mag magnifying glass. The first mechanical editing, editorying decks used to cut up and re reassemble movies were invented by Ewan Seria. In 1924, he founded the Moviola Company. The technique of cutting film and reassembling the pieces, whether done by hand or with the help of a machine, is called linear editing. It is called linear simply because you are assembling the clips one after another. The process is purely mechanically, mechanical. Digital editing. Editing with a computer is much faster and more effective for film. Many different programs can be used as Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere and iMovie. Footage is put onto a timeline and is then cut and pasted into order and then effects are added. Editing in camera still exists as a way of creating films since 1999. Straight 8 has challenged anyone anywhere to make in-camera edited short films on Super 8mm Cinefilm. This below is an example of a 1903 editing in-camera movie. From 1920 until the end of the Second World War, film editing was done almost exclusively on more viola decks. Then in 1945, the German company Steinbeck introduced their machine. Steinbeck rapidly became the industry standard. By watching this it shows editing in camera allowed filmmakers to do more than just show the world from one point of view. So to summary all that up, Thomas Edison developed the equipment to develop moving pictures, the Luminate Brothers pioneered the art of moving film. George Mellies was one of the first to use in-camera editing. J.A. Smith pioneered the technique of using shots from different locations and developed film in making from single shot films. Porter, Path and Griffith developed the art of storytelling through editing. They made popular the art of putting individual shots together in order to make longer, more dramatic films. Conventions and techniques this is an example of a reverse shot 
Using the 180 degree rule, it shows two people talking face to face and the camera will be moved from the face of one person to the reverse view of the person they are talking to. Whoa, you're right. You're right. What are you doing? Oh, me. I'm just going six more now. What about you? Uh, yeah, I just come back from home. I'm just going straight to now. I had my food cold. I'm going straight to as well. I can't have seen you. You ain't seen me around because we probably have different timetables, innit? Yeah. Yeah, true. Did you watch the game last night? You still support United, innit? United didn't play last night. I mean, I mean on Sunday when um, you lost 4 1 to City. Yeah, I know. Man City had a strong team out. It, it was a good dub. But I don't think Moyes is going to last at United the way he's carrying on. He might need to be set by the end of December. He need a new manager. We actually got a strong team. You do have a strong team, but I don't reckon you'll win anything this year. Maybe the next year or the year after you might. Lesson to go into now that I completely forgot about. Uh, I'll meet you at lunch if you want. And do you have a pen I could borrow? Um, no, I don't think so. I haven't got it. It's in my locker. Anyway, I'll see you at lunch, yeah? All right, see you. Take care, man. This is an example of a montage in the film. It is a sequence used to show a character's development through, through time. Constable Nicholas Angel, born and schooled in London, graduated Canterbury University in 1993 with a double first in politics and sociology, attended Hendon College of Police Training, displayed great aptitude in field exercises, notably urban pacification and riot control, academically excelled in theoretical coursework and final year examinations, received the baton of honour. Graduated with distinction into the Metropolitan Police Service. Quickly established an effectiveness and popularity within the community. Use your brain. Proceeded to improve skill base with courses in advanced driving and advanced cycling. Became heavily involved in a number of extra vocational activities. To this day holds the net record for the 100 meter dash. In 2001, began active duty with the renowned SO-19 Armed Response Unit. Received a bravery award for efforts in the resolution of Operation Crackdown. In the last 12 months, has received nine special commendations. Achieved the highest arrest record for any officer in the Met. And sustained three injuries in the line of duty. Most recently in December, when wounded by a man dressed as Father Christmas. Basically, on Premiere Pro, you can set in and out points by double-clicking on a clip. That will then load the clip onto the source panel on the left, then move the playhead underneath the clip to find out exactly where you would like to start this piece of footage once. You have found your first frame for the clip. Click on the left bracket in the button editor to set an in and out point, and do the same for the last frame with the right bracket button to create your out point. Remember the letters I and O on your keyboard also work to set your in and out points in the source panel once you have found the proper in and out points for the certain clip. Simply drag and drop your clip onto its place on the timeline on the bottom right to continue piece, piecing together your production. To fade in and out on Premiere Pro, you basically drag your clip onto the timeline, then you click on onto Effect Controls. You change the opacity to how long you want the clip to fade in for, 
to fade out you have to create your own keyframes so you want to decide when you want the video to fade out you set the opacity to whenever you want it to fade out to make a white transition on Premiere Pro you drop two video clips onto the timeline next you need to rearrange the clip by placing the outgoing clip above the incoming clip you click on transition and go to linear wipe you then click it and drag it onto one of the clips it will appear in the video effects at the top you decide where you want the wipe to begin you click the stop watch icon and position the CTI then you position the mouse on the transition and change it to 100 or you can change it whatever, to whatever you want